Sharkwars here, and today we will be talking about the top 10 villains in video games. Welcome to the first installment of Shark Wars Top 10s, where we will be talking about my favorite things in 10 steps. Number 10 is somebody you would probably expect. My, a true favorite that I love, what, the number 10 list, spot on my list is Gladys. Oh my goodness, was that an amazing game. Portal 2 was so incredible when I found Gladys. The writers made sure that every, everything she said uh, put a chill down your spine. And I love her for this exact reason. She's clever and she can basically control the whole facility of Aperture Science. So guys, this is my number 10 spot. Number 9 on this list is Ganondorf from the Legend of Zelda series. Now, I know what you're thinking. Ganondorf is very slow in Super Smash Brothers, and he's not that reliable, and, well, he just doesn't seem like an overall villain. But, here's one thing I gotta tell you. He can transform into a giant pig. Imagine if you wake up one day, you get angry at somebody, transform into a giant pig, and squash them. That is epic. And I think that is a perfect number nine spot on this list. See you guys. The next one on this list is from a really awesome plush game that I play called Pop Tropica. Dr. Hare is number eight on this list because he um, one nostalgia, obviously. Uh, I, if you guys want to see me play Pop Tropica, I will do an entire series on that if you want me to. But that's not the point. The point is, Doctor Hare is somebody that um, I. He's very funny. His all-out design is clever, and uh, his obsession over carrots is um quite charming. The next person on this list is King Neptune, the final boss from the SpongeBob SquarePants movie. He, uh, yet again, is nostalgic to me because um, he was really hard. And no, he's not a villain. Uh, he still is the bad guy you have to face. And, uh, if, the, if you met this guy in real life, you would die in an instant. So, I really doubt that anybody would not call this guy a villain. Even if he, uh, I mean, if he was born with that Chumbucket helmet, he would totally be a villain. But, um, yeah, it's a bit lazy, but... He's still my number seven on this list. The next person on this list is the announcer from the Stanley Peril. The announcer may not be a true villain, but I think the announcer is evil because he forces you to make every decision uh, like his way. And if you don't do it like that, then he squashes you. Or he just does something evil like, well, I don't want to spoil this for you. It's a fun game. Play the Stanley Parable. Uh, and this is the number six spot. The next person on this list one of my true favorites is Comstock. Comstock 
is such an awesome villain. He, I, I mean, okay, a long time ago I made this very weird video, uh, why Bioshock Infinite is so good. I played Bioshock Infinite all the way from the beginning to end. It is awesome! And you should definitely check this game out. Comstock is one of my favorite villains um, in uh, on this list. Okay, the, um, let me see, the number four spot on my uh, list is uh, Doodlebob from Spongebob Squarepants Drawn to Life. Um, I, I, um, again, you gotta play this game yourself if you don't already own a DS, 3DS, 2DS. But, um, this game was really fun to play. I love the ending. It was so hard, like, it took two years. But, um, yeah, Doodle Bob was a very hard boss to beat. And I hope you enjoyed beating him as well. The next person on this list is the Penguin UFO. I, uh, when I was playing the beta of Starbound, I found, um, this cool Penguin UFO. And he was so, uh, he was so very, eh, there's, I just think, uh, the Penguin UFO destroyed all of my home. I'm serious. I was hiding in my home, and he, like, nuked all of my home. So I couldn't, I mean, I was basically stuck. So, um, yeah, when, uh, when you find this dude, make sure you don't put the satellite next to your home, or else, uh, your home will be destroyed. Um, that is the number three on my list. The next person in, uh, this list, uh, number two, I believe? Yeah, number two, is King BDD. Uh, he is a blue penguin. He has a giant hammer. Uh, he reminds me of Thor. He has a red coat. He's basically saying, hey, I'm rich, you're not, let's fight. Um, yeah. And that's my number two. The final, um, my number one spot, uh, for this list is, um, well, it's not really that known. His name is, uh, Captain Crawfish. And, um, this is just footage from Skullduggery Island on Pop Tropica. And he is a pirate, um, that, um, was really, really hard to beat. Now, uh, I had to exclude some of my favorite villains on this, I can't tell, but, um, I, um, uh, I feel like this one really shows a lot, and, um, yeah, so I hope, uh, you, uh, think, um, I hope you think, uh, Captain Crawfish is your favorite too, and see you later, Sharkies. Bye!